just because I like my videos to be an, an escape for both me and you for 20-30 minutes, you know, escape from the craziness that is our world. Um, but today it just feels wrong to do that. Um, today that I'm filming this is the morning after the shooting First and foremost, if there by chance is anyone watching who was directly affected by that shooting or any shooting that's happening, that, that's happened recently, I just want to say that I'm so, so very sorry and I'm sending you love and prayers and at this point that even, even prayers and thoughts just don't feel like enough and I don't have the answer. this on my iPhone, I'm going to do my very best to not edit this video at all, so I'm sorry for the rough transition into the rest of the video, but, um, let's just get started. So, I am filming a What I Have Been Watching video today, and I have my list right here, and we're just gonna talk about it. Um, but first and foremost, you guys, if you've been watching my channel for for years. They used to be called Happiness Boutique, but they have since changed their name to Hey Happiness, and they are always so kind to send me a couple of their pieces every, every couple of months. So they usually send me, you know, two, usually two, sometimes three pieces at a time. And they send it to me in, these, in this little box, this little light pink box. two items in here and I'm actually wearing both. Um, so I'll show you. The first one is my necklace. Um, I have actually owned this necklace from them before and I wore it so much last summer and I lost it. And so this time around when they asked if I wanted to collaborate again, I said absolutely and I picked out this necklace again so they very kindly resent it to me. You will see if you click the link down in the description, you'll get to really see it up close, but it's a little gold pendant and on it is uh, a rose. They have them in silver and there's also a pendant with daisies on it if you prefer that. But this one has a rose and I just think it's beautiful. It's so like tiny, but it's simple and even like, you guys know I like dainty kind of things, but I don't know, I just really like it, and it's nice and small and simple. And then my second item that they sent me is this ear cuff. Again, click the link in the description to see what it looks like up close. But it has studs on it, and it's a lot thicker than the other ear cuff I used to have. And so the cool thing about ear cuff 
house in front of your partner. I, I can't even imagine. No, I can't even imagine. I can't imagine doing that in front of him, and I can't even fathom the idea of him dating somebody else in front of me. I, no. Nope. But anyway, it was, it was pretty good. We watched, sorry, I just hit my microphone. We watched the whole thing. It's trash television. It is. It is. But every once in a while, that's okay, I guess. The next one is on the same wavelength. It's a reality docu series, kind of. Not docu series, but it's a reality dating show. And it's called Love on the Spectrum. I fell in love with this show. It follows a group. six maybe around there um six people with autism on their search for love and a lot of them it's it's their first time dating um and with the help of their family their friends and a couple of them had a um i forgot what her actual title was but she had autism herself but she specialized in autism and like counseling and stuff and so she helped um two or three of them and like gave them pointers on going on dates and stuff and it's just it's after the last two shows that i just spoke to you about it's so refreshing and it's so wholesome and pure it's pure there's no drama oh one of them had a little bit of drama but it's okay i still loved her but it's just, it was just so refreshing because it's that that right there is is it's pure emotion. There's no games. There's no drama. There's no like fighting. Really, it's just so pure. You know, one of the couples I'm thinking of uh, in particular both loved animals and loved going to the zoo, and so that's what they did on like their first and second date. And <clears throat> just the the simple that they bonded over like your favorite animal's a lion so is mine i love you like it's just so oh it was so good it was just it was refreshing it was like what i needed um and it was only six episodes and they're all like 40 minutes each so not too long um you could get through it fairly quickly um i really recommend that like it's not like that one isn't a trash or reality show that one is like a heartwarming kind of show and i loved it i absolutely loved it i was rooting for all of them i think two of them are two or three couples are like actual serious couples now and i love it and i think a lot of people can learn a lesson or two from a show like that okay the next one comes to us from amazon prime video I should have said the first three are on Netflix. The fourth one is from Amazon. I gotta start to speed through this a little bit faster. It is Upload Season 2. And they actually just got picked up for Season 3. Um, it stars Robbie Amell, who... He's been in a bunch of things. He's got his start on Disney Channel, on Life with Derek. And so that's how I first found out about him. And, like, 10-year-old me thought that he was the cutest thing in the world. And, um... So I've just kind of followed, like I follow him on Instagram, I have since I was in high school, and so um, that's how I first found out about the shows, because he was posting about it, so I watched the first season when it came out two years ago, and I really liked it, it's essentially just, it's a futuristic show, kind of, and basically when you die, you go to another, not universe, but another reality, um, and that's where you go and you kind of like retire there so you're still kind of living but you're not living and people in your you know your family they can put on like a virtual reality set or something and go visit you so you're not really like dead dead forever uh, i will say the second season not as good as the first season i think it could be because the first season like robbie Mel's character falls in love with uh his like they call them angels, and it's like a profession, so every angel is assigned someone who died, and if you need anything, if you need help, whatever, like, you're always in communication all day, every day, and you, like, help each other, so he fell in love with this angel, and it was a cute, like, heartwarming kind of, you know, first 
first season and then the second season they're not together and that that wasn't a spoiler because it was a little bit of a spoiler sorry but not that much because going into the second season you know that they're not together anyway sorry um but uh, yeah it wasn't as good as this first season for me um there is one character i forget her name but she annoys the crap out of me she's the main blonde character she's supposed to be annoying like that's her role but i don't know but they got picked up for season three and i'm definitely gonna watch it because it's a good show it's a good premise of the show and the second season wasn't bad by any means um it just wasn't as good as the first season in my opinion so the next one is a movie on netflix it's called rescued by ruby it starts stars grant gustin who i have been following since he was on glee and i like him he was the he also played the flash on the cw um and essentially he is like a park ranger i watched this a while ago so i gotta see how much i can remember basically his biggest dream in the whole world was to join the canine unit where he works um, and have his own dog and normally you join with a German Shepherd um, but he couldn't find a German Shepherd or they were too expensive I forget I watched it a while ago but he didn't have a German Shepherd and so he finds out that it doesn't have to specifically be a German Shepherd and so he goes and finds this dog and um, he tries to train her but she's not the best at, at getting trained and, and it just follows their journey into trying to get into the canine unit and it's very heartwarming and he's a great actor um and yeah it's a nice heartwarming chill movie to put on the next one is called the rental it's on netflix i think it's still on netflix it's directed by dave franco which i actually didn't know until the movie was over um we just put it on just because we were looking for something to watch and it looked like a thriller kind of but at the end it turned out to be like a horror movie i don't want to say too much about it but i didn't get closure in the end and the whole time you're asking why is this happening and you never get an answer it's a little weird uh but it's very dave franco and i guess for his first movie it was pretty good um but yeah we saw the credits roll up and it said directed by dave franco and we were like what so, I don't know, it was interesting, I guess. Wouldn't watch it again, but I... The next one is also a movie on Netflix. It's called Along for the Ride. And um, it's based on a book by Sarah Dessen that I read when I was 12. I was, or younger, maybe. I read all her books back then. They're like young romance novels. Um, nothing like not adult romance at all, like pure like teenage relationships and I was reading them when I was younger and they made this one into a movie this year and as soon as I saw the title and like started watching the trailer I was like oh my gosh that's the book I read that book so many times like I would get to that last page and I would read it over again like the same day I'd start from the beginning such a good story and because I loved it so much as a kid. It's nostalgic to me now. So I watched it and I fell in love with it. I fell in love with the actors. They did such a good job staying true to the book. And I remember it because I read it so many times that I don't think I'll ever forget it, probably. Um, it's about a girl who her parents are divorced and she goes to stay with her dad for the summer, but she doesn't have a great relationship with him. She forms a great relationship with her new stepmother, makes friends um, in her dad's town, and finds a cute boy, and they form a relationship, and it's just so, again, pure, and I loved it, I loved it, I loved it, I loved it, and I would, wa I would watch that one again, but again, I don't know if you guys would love it as much as I do, I think it's just nostalgic for me, because of how much I loved the book as a kid, so... And Sarah Dessen also made a cameo in the movie in the beginning, which is kind of cute. Okay, moving right along, and the next one is also a movie on Netflix, and it's called Senior Year with Rebel Wilson. I like Rebel Wilson. I've always been a fan of her. I think she's just, she's funny. She doesn't give a crap. Like, she just, I love her. I loved her in Pitch Perfect and everything else she's been in. 
I will say though, I did not like this movie that much. It's got 13 going on 30 vibes. Um, she gets injured in a cheerleading accident as a 16 year old kid. Wakes up, she's an adult, but she wants to go back to college. She wants I'm sorry, she wants to go back to high school as like a 34 year old woman. She wants to become prom queen and get the, the cute boy and all the things. And then at the end she realizes, oh, is that really what I want? That kind of story. Um, it was okay. It was cute. I wouldn't watch it again. It was cheesy, very cheesy. But you'll get a couple of laughs out of it. I watched it in two sittings. So that's how you know, like, if in the middle of a movie, I'm like, eh, I'll finish this later. I feel like that's kind of your, that tells you everything you need to know, but. The next one was a documentary. It was called Our Father. It's like an hour and a half. And it's about a fertility doctor who used his own sperm to impregnate 60 plus women. Crazy. I really want to do a true crime video on him, but he's still alive and not in jail, so I probably don't want to mess with that just in case for security reasons. But guys, if you like true crime, go watch it. That's all I'm going to say. Go watch it. It'll, you'll literally be like, what the flip? It's crazy. Go watch it. The next one is a show. This is the last one I'll do. It's called Dare Me. I randomly found it on Netflix, Dare Me, like truth or dare, dare me. And it's about uh, these cheerleaders and these two best friends who are like the star pupils of the cheerleading team and their strenuous relationship. And then they have a coach who has a lot of secrets. It's like a mixture of coming of age. It's got a little bit, it's a murder mystery as well. Um, kind of thriller. Um, the first episode sets you up for the last episode, kind of, well, yeah, you'll, you'll see. I really liked it. I liked the characters. I think the actors did a fantastic, fantastic job. Um, and it, I, uh, 10 episodes, maybe something like that. Um, I really, really, really enjoyed it. So if you like the murder mystery, the kind of dark shows that make you think, plus coming of age high school story, but not your typical high school story. It's not cliche. It's not cheesy. Um, I think you'll really like it. So, uh, I am watching a new show that I started yesterday, so I'm not going to talk too much about it. I'm just going to tell you what it is. It's called Pretty Smart with, uh, Emily Osmond. That's her name, right? From Animal. She was in Animal. But that's all I'm going to say, because I've only watched two episodes, so my next what I've been watching video, uh, I will let you know what I thought. It's only one season, so I'll probably finish it pretty quick, but anyway, that is it for today's video. Sorry if it feels like I'm rushing a little bit at the end. I don't know how much storage my phone has, <laughs> so I don't want to get cut off, and I don't want to, like, edit this video or anything, but we've reached the end of my list anyway, so I hope that you guys have enjoyed. Again, all links 